On August 30th, Nebraska made history. Thousands of spectators streamed into Lincoln's Memorial Stadium for two women's volleyball matches, the first between the University of Nebraska Kearney and Wayne State College, and the second between the University of Nebraska Lincoln and the University of Nebraska Omaha. On Volleyball Day in Nebraska, we broke a world record. Our Nebraska team set the new record for attendance at a women's sporting event, 92,003 fans. Volleyball Day in Nebraska took months of preparation to pull off, but the University of Nebraska did it successfully. Our Nebraska colleges planned and worked hard in anticipa anticipation of this new record. It's a picture of Nebraska. We are a state that's defined by dedication, drive, and most of all, by community. Nebraskans showcased that dedication and drive as they came together to get as many people as possible in the stands. And when they got there, they supported and encouraged players and fans alike. Whether the spectators were Husker, Maverick, Lopers, or Wildcat fans, they showed sportsmanship and goodwill. In response to Nebraska's exciting new record, we are passing a resolution today that would celebrate women's collegiate athletics in our home state. This resolution will recognize the historic Volleyball Day in Nebraska on a federal level. In addition to attendance at a women's sporting event, Volleyball Day in Nebraska broke several other records. The event exceeded the previous attendance record for NCAA women's volleyball. The new women's volleyball record of 92,003 fans in attendance is almost five times more than the old record of 18,755. The August 30th match also exceeded the attendance record for UNL's Memorial Stadium. Our resolution specifically honors Nebraska's former coach, Pat Sullivan, who started the University of Nebraska volleyball program in 1975. It also honors former coach Terry Pettit, who built the volleyball program from 1977 to 1999, and current coach John Cook, who has sustained excellence in this program since the year 2000. And the team has sustained excellence ever since Volleyball Day in Nebraska. Our UNL volleyball women's volleyball team won the battle of the undefeated against Wisconsin this past weekend, and our team is now ranked number one. This Senate resolution celebrates a special day for women, for volleyball players, and for all Nebraskans. I am proud to bring well-deserved recognition to this unique accomplishment. As we often say, there is no place like Nebraska. Thank you, Mr. President. And I would yield the floor to my colleague from Nebraska, Senator Ricketts. I would like to thank my colleague, Senator Ricketts, for his great comments in recognizing the women's volleyball team, the state of Nebraska, and the great people that we have. And with that, Mr. President, I would ask unanimous consent that the Senate proceed to the consideration of S. Res 428 submitted earlier today. S. Res 428, a resolution recognizing women's collegiate athletics and the record-setting Volleyball Day in Nebraska event on August 30, 2023. Without objection, the Senate will proceed to the, the measure. Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent the resolution be agreed to, the preamble be agreed to, and that the motions to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table with no intervening action or debate. Is there objection? Without objection, so ordered. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield. 